Welcome back to my road to completion guide from Metro Exodus. This is episode two. Grab the map during the cutscene and our backpack after the cutscene. Digging a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with RTM2 as backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you're not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. Gotta check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's, let's go, prepare Artyom. the Aurora for defensive action. Stepan, come here. Get the perimeter. I'm on yes, sir. Duke. I need you to recall the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot. You got your Don't forget your backpack. Yes, it's a new sir. model. A portable workshop, so yes, to speak. Sir. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Walk outside and set up a quick save to lock in our progress. The game saves automatically, but manual saves work best for farming and exploration. Jump into the river twice with both guns to get them dirty so we can set up for the next trophy. Sometimes an enemy would kill us during this process, but we can always load our previous manual save and try again. Be aware that manual saves are highlighted with pencil icons and auto saves are highlighted with clocks. I'll demonstrate the difference between the two as we farm for the next trophy. Follow the track to the single train car and grab the resources. Hold L1 and press X to open the backpack, then dismantle all of our med kits and filters with the square button. Now save your progress. Just make sure to wait for the numbers to appear in the lower right corner to validate the save. After making the save, use the workbench to clean both guns. Hold square to clean the first gun, then tap R2 to switch to the other gun and repeat.
When you finish, load the previous manual save. Remember, it'll be the only one with the pencil icon. Always make a new quick save before cleaning the guns to keep this farming spot active. Expect to pop the Tidy Man trophy after using 500 chemical resources to clean both guns. Load the previous manual save and spend all our resources to craft as many filters as possible. Don't worry about the low filter time because we'll pick up more filters in this chapter. Go back to the train and look for the tall electrical power line. That's where we'll find the boat and the next trophy. Remember to take your mask off to conserve filters on the way there. I actually caught a texture glitch just before boarding the boat, so after the trophy pops, you'll see an edit because I had to reboot the game. Finally, there's a boat at the dock. Looks like it's the locals' preferred method of transportation. All right, I'll climb up there while you take the boat and roll to the ship. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Row to the church, go upstairs, and speak with the lady. After that, set up a quick save. Mama, it's him! The man from the train! He's here to save us! 
I can't believe this. I had all but lost hope. We're not from here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. arriving under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nothing I can get to your trailer. Knock out the enemy around the corner, then take out the guy downstairs. Look for a gun with the completely orange profile and make sure to pick it up with the square button. It should be on the ground or close to the guy downstairs, but sometimes it gets glitched in the environment. If you can't find it, load the previous manual save and try again. <laughs> Let us return home. Then again, they put me to work there. Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. Climb the ladder and get postcard number three. Go outside, release the boat, and set up a quick save. Uh, have you seen the heretic, sister? Of course I did that. So you have seen him? We have to kill an enemy with the gun we picked up earlier to get credit for a trophy. The second enemy that attacks our boat is the perfect chance to do it. Make sure to aim directly for the enemy's mouth to get the kill since we only have one bullet. If you mess up, load the previous manual save and try again or remember to get a kill with this weapon later in the game. Road ashore, but don't listen to Duke's speech. Instead, find the small camp near the train and get the moldy log. Artyom, over here!
What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a Find the path that leads to the large building on the other side of the train. We need to get some resources and the faded note from the basement. Just remember to wear your gas mask in the basement and move quickly to avoid running out of filters. There's also some red plants that shoot out gas if we get too close, so be careful.
You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blin, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, Blin. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. Open fire right away, didn't they? Hey, where are you going? Of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. Look, you don't want to hear it? I'm fine by me, just tell me. Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Not the palace. Well, oh, here's a bed. So, if you're tired, my home is your home. By the way, almost forgot. Here, it's a gift for you. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo or grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Craft one Molotov cocktail in as many filters as possible. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. Grab postcard number four off the wall. Look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You will never have second thoughts about picking me up. Zip line to the other building and save your progress. Managed to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away. No, you could take the zip line down. Just hook up and uh, away you go. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. You know, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since.
backtrack toward the train but look for a flag hanging from a tree. Fall into the hole under the flag to find Anna. After that, set up a save. Walk into the next room and dismantle all our filters, then wait for the timer to reach zero. When it does, our character will start gasping for air, and that's when we have to craft another filter to stay alive. This will pop the last breath trophy. Now let's load the previous manual save. There's a ton of filters in this area starting with the one on the barrel. Walk around the corner and get the filter off the tank. Tap R3 to break the lock on the gate, then grab the waterlogged note. There's one more filter on the desk and two more in the crate. Now that we have all the filters, let's make another save. Our flashlight doesn't last forever. Hold left on the D-pad and spam R2 to charge it up. Sneak through the area and access the breaker box. There's more filters along the way just in case you need more time.
Now we have to open the door to the bunker. We can shoot or hit the mutants with R3. Go back to the train, sit in the chair, and grab the rail car device during the cutscene. God damn it. We have to tell the others that we found her, Sam. It's good I can't found me. Oh, what is this place? Artyom, help us here. I... We... We have to go back now, I guess. Hi, Artyom. All right, welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Maybe they... I don't know. Hey, Artyom. See how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff we hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since we are going to the terminal, hear me out. Go outside, follow the track to the tower, and save your progress. There's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camp. Great job persuading the old man. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? Let me duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Artyom, Nastya has something she wants to ask you. Go on, Nastya. Uncle Artyom. Knock out the enemies guarding the tower and look for a specific gun with an orange profile laying near one of the bodies. Make sure to press the circle button to get the modifications. Do not interact with the prisoner in the cage because we'll deal with him later.
Climb the tower and look in the room for another weapon. Once again, press the circle button to get the modifications. Guys, check this place. Look everywhere. You never know what these fuckers. Take you bitch. <laughs> Climb the ladder and pick up the guitar. We have to find two specific items in this chapter to pop a trophy, and this is our first one. What is that bitch? Gotta keep looking. Hey guys! Let's turn the place inside out! There might be more of them fuckers around! Free the prisoner in the cage at the base of the tower to get good karma. This will help us unlock a specific ending for this chapter. I don't fucking get this. Alright. I'll check everything here. Untie me, please. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, this never follow the track to find Duke in the train car. I had a penance from the father of Salamia. We don't have to listen to his speech. Cross the river and set up a save just outside the hideout. Good hunting. Knock out the enemies and look for a gun with one modification. This means most of the gun's profile will be white, but the top portion will be orange. Remember to press the circle button to get the modification. Also, and this is very important, never interact with enemies that surrender unless I say otherwise. We do not want to accumulate bad karma in this playthrough. Here, you fucker. 
Check the small room for the reinforced helmet suit upgrade. We have to find 12 suit upgrades and this is our first one. Go to the upper platform, get the resources and the modifications from the gun. I can't enough. I give up, man. Like, really. Open the backpack and install one new modification from each category to get the gunsmith trophy. New modifications are labeled with exclamation marks. This is also your opportunity to customize your weapon. Why the fuck does shit like this always happen to me? Damn. Use the zip line to get off the platform and head toward the river to find the boat. Row to the nearby island, find the gas, and start the generator. Turn the switch in the house to gain access to the roof. Uh, 
have nothing to fear. Fall through the hole in the roof to find the breaker box. Yes, but the fish would never touch true believers, so no fear there. Of course, if your faith isn't strong enough, then it's another can of worms. The fish feels it and gobbles the non-believer hole. And it feels it so that it doesn't get spliced with water. Go around the corner and flip the switch to open the door. Go inside, flip the switch, and wait for the flames to die down. After that, grab the battery charge controller. Backtrack to the boat and row to the small island. Make sure to avoid the large fish swimming in the area. Go inside and grab the patient ledger off the desk. Don't worry about the hallucinations because this is a scripted sequence. Go back to the boat and row to the nearby island. Once again, make sure to avoid the big fish.
Sneak into the train station and flip the switch on the second floor. This will give us access to several passenger cars we have to pick up in the next episode. If you're spotted, remember to knock out enemies with the square button. Fall off the platform and jump over the wall. Eventually it'll come to an end and that's when you need to cross over to the opposite track, climb the lookout tower, and make a save. My name is Exonovant and I'll see you in the next one. Be good. Hey.